Steve Davis here, Stillwater Woodcraft. I just got in this morning from a uh, squirrel hunt, so I got back here to camp. I'm gonna get me a little something to eat and drink. So I got my copper pot there, or kettle, on the fire getting some water going. What I'm gonna make this morning is boiled chocolate. Very similar, obviously, to the hot chocolate of today. Now on the Frontier, chocolate outsold tea and coffee, uh, supposedly by a large margin from the uh, traders that worked along the Frontier trading uh, goods to the Frontiersmen for in exchange for hides and whatnot. So, chocolate of the day was not the chocolate we think of now. This chocolate is very dark um, doesn't have any sweetener or anything in it it's just chocolate so what we're going to do is add some sugar to it I have some maple sugar here you could use uh, muscovado sugar or just uh, white cake sugar for that matter so got my water going it's starting to get pretty hot so I'm going to pull that off just set it down here for a second I'm gonna make enough for about two people, so I'm gonna use this whole chunk. For me, I like these uh, quarter ounce chunks. I use two of them, so that'd be a half an ounce for one person. Ooh, smoke changed on me there a little bit. So for two, I'm going to uh, use a half in this water. I'm just gonna to toss it in there. Then my sugar here, I wanna take and just Break off a chunk. Break it up. Toss that in my water too. I'll get my pot back on here to boil. We'll get that boiling and we'll take a look at it. All right, guys, this has come to a boil. All the chocolate and sugar clumps have melted up off the bottom. You want to stir this occasionally. Make sure nothing sticks to the bottom and scorches to the bottom of your kettle. Um, now, the longer you boil this, the stronger it's going to get chocolatey-wise because you're going to boil the water off. I'm not sure if chocolatey-wise is an actual uh, proper English term there. We'll use it. So anyways, this is uh, come to a boil. Now if you're using water from a well or something, you probably wouldn't have to bring it to a boil, just melt the sugar and chocolate. But since this water is out of the creek, we want to make sure it boils so it's safe. So all I'm going to do now is just pull it off here and let it cool off. Set that to the side for a minute. As you can see, this can be done real quick on the side of the trail. You know, it only takes 10 minutes. Little stick fire is all you need, so it's a uh, great way to come up with a hot drink on a chilly morning. All right, guys, it's cooled off. Now I can touch the pot. A lot of times, you know, I just use the pot to drink out of. I don't carry a cup with me all the time. Down in my bag here. My good wife was kind enough to send some homemade molasses cookies with me. So I'm going to enjoy some molasses cookies and some boiled chocolate here. Regain some uh, hydration and give me a quick boost of uh, energy and whatnot. Mmm. Damn, that's good. So, you know, guys, quick, easy uh, way to make a hot drink on the side of the trail. It's real good. Pack you a couple homemade cookies to go with it. It's been Steve Davis, Stillwater Woodcraft. Thank you for your views. Thank you for your support. I'm going to eat some cookies.